Okay, we are back doing reviews of some things that came in the mail from Sergeant Art. Um, we got this two pack of sharpeners, which is kind of cool. It'll take a big fat crayon and then it'll take two different size pencils. And the blade, I have not tried to open this to see. Oh, very easy, good. The blade is only on the pencil sides, not on, oh, it's on the crayon side too. So yeah, I would not turn a child loose with this, but um, we're gonna try this in a minute and it's see how good it is. a child loose with it. I know, right? <laughs> um, these run for a single, not a two pack, but a single. They've got them on Amazon, $8.40. But so, Amazon is not always the cheapest place to buy our This products. is true. This is true, Sarah Good. Now, this big pack here, this is the Supreme Series. All right. This whole thing. I know. <laughs> right? <laughs> here we go. Are you ready? This whole thing on Amazon is $12.45. So. Let's see what they're like. So this features 10 colored pencils, 10 drawing pencils, 10 watercolor pencils, 10 charcoal pencils, and 10 metallic pencils. Okay, Sarah, for today, um, let's not worry about the drawing pencils or the charcoal pencils. Those should be standard. Sergeant's known for doing good with those. Right. We use them all or Right. Five. So I feel like that's going to be pretty standard. So let's see. Sorry, I took the plastic out. No, you can't take the package out. No, I can't get the packaging out. Yeah, here we go. All the things. Uh-oh. That was bad. No, that's not going to work. Nope. So they package them really well. So, are you taking the normal pencils? And I'll take the watercolor. I can't even get the No, water. hang on, hang on. I got it. Hold those, please. There, we just, we were being silly. And there's those. I've all right. Today. I don't need to be an adult. That's right. You're good. It's all good. Okay, so the silver ones are watercolor. The, no, the silver ones are normal. They should say. Okay, these the say black watercolor. Ones are watercolor. The silver ones are normal, and then these are the metallics. And I'm going to go ahead and grab just something else to do because I've already pretty well torn up my coloring page. You're going so <laughs> nice on your responsible. Hey. All right. I want to go ahead and start playing with these watercolor. So um, metallic. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I really want to know what those are like because a good metallic is hard to find. I think it depends on what you're expecting a metallic mark. A lot of times I'm thinking I'm expecting a metallic to be like a glitter gel pen, and that's something that's totally they different. Do. They don't make. Yeah, uh uh. It's totally different. So. I mean, okay. it's a pretty green. I don't see anything metallic about it. I do see that it came off as a very nice opaque color, which sometimes regular colored pencils don't. Right. Hmm. You, know, you knew I was going to grab that. Purple first. It's it's silver, silver is what I metallic. Do. You can tell that's metallic right there, right? Oh yeah, and, and we'll pick the, the paper up in a minute nice, and make sure the sheen shows on camera. The sheen of a nice, like you know how when you were a kid you used to take a pencil and just color as hard as you could, see what yes. the paper. Yes, it has that kind of a texture to it. And I'm just laying these colors out, and then I'm going to come along with some water. And these come very finely sharpened, like from yes. the get-go. Yeah, they like, were. This is going into that tiny space really nicely. I do like how they come pre sharp this is an indicator of how their sharpener works. Then it's very good, right. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm just going to keep coming across here. I'm just laying down some color. I'm not trying to be... Um, super neat with this because I want to see how it is when you hit it with water just right off the bat and then from there we can experiment a little more with it okay then I'm going to go to the brown 
And we'll go to the black. What are you thinking over there, Sarah? They're not super metallic, like thinking of like glitter gel pen or metallic gel pens. However, they have a nice sheen to them, and they are very, very deep, rich colors. Like you can tell that that's can a very deep. Can we pick this up deep. and look at it without messing you up? I don't know that you're going to. I mean, like the only one that I felt anything <gasps> oh, to. Oh, there. The... You'll see that? This part right here. See how it just catches the light and has that shine to it? And this one here, is that one also? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can tell. But then the screen was, and I don't feel like you could tell anything with the green. Like looking at it while I was there it coloring is. it. There it is. You couldn't see it. Right. So maybe I'm this man kind of thing. Right, right. Or like a, when you photograph it and you get that glimmer. Yeah, I know what you're saying there. Now, Ooh, I'm... Oh, this one's my favorite. Not proficient with watercolor. So this should be interesting to say the least. Oh, how I love I'm coming gray. in. That gray. Oh, cool. So I'm coming in with this. Ooh, Sarah. Don't care. Consumed by gray. Sarah. Consumed by gray. Oh, look at that. I know that's what it's supposed to do, but I'm just excited because so many times they don't, and these do. Knit my black mess. <laughs> do this side too? I do see if like... it completely eliminates the texture of the coloring. That's okay. Just... I do like how bright these are. A lot of times when you get them wet with other pencils, I find they don't keep their brightness. So what do you want to do with this? Water the opposite side too and see if it completely erases the uh, texture of where you colored. Does that make sense? Because when I'm coloring with watercolor pencils, that's what's most important to me. If you can still see the pencil strokes underneath, that's when you know you've got trashy ones. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Because it doesn't actually take care of where you started coloring, and it looks like you literally smeared water on top of your color. No, these, As what would you to, say? These are blending really nicely. These are nice, yeah. That's impressive. Now, something else I want to try, because there is a brand out there that we can do this with, and it may be all brands, but I'm just going to hit the end of this pencil with the water. Yeah, looky there. You can also take and drag the pencil with the brush. You want to try? Here, try it on this one. Um, Here, I'm let me turn this sorry. around the other way so that you're not <laughs> dragging way, through wet. So That's okay. So what they do is they take and they do like, I don't know how hard this water's going to come out. It's all right, just squeeze it. And if we have a puddle, I'll run and get some paper towels. There it is. Yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> but you're supposed to be able to, and that's what I was saying I didn't do earlier, was it took away that scribble. See it? Right. It Even when it I take away. the water off, that scribble's all, it's completely gone. So that's a good thing, right? That is a good thing. It didn't okay, now your pencil's wet. Will it? Okay. Just different effect. As we all sit here holding our breath, waiting well, for I Sarah to drip water to on do this. more. That's kind of cool because it looks like a texture. I wonder if you could back into get the it water wet and then just like, yeah, you know how they're always trying to get splatters. I did one. But... Yeah, and this still has a lot in it. This is still wet, and look what that does. Like <laughs> that's cool. No, I like that you could texture. Make some texture with that. You could do brick really nice. Ooh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. so. Look at this lavender over here. That metallic lavender came out wicked. It almost looks like a bronze from here. But I don't have my big light on either. We wanted to share a spot at the table. And so we had to kind of ditch color. the light. Okay, <laughs> so this is the watercolors. These are the ones I just did. And then this. And... It did go, well, it just rippled the paper, but this is cardstock. So I would say. And I just like poured water on So it. I would say that's good though. All right. So that was the light green right there. I love, that looks like a peridot green. Again, back to my paint. Sorry. 
gold. Let's see what another color. Let's go with this with the gold. Now this is colored pencil. Oops. Oh no, I just broke the tip. You know what that means. Uh oh. I have to try out the pencil sharpener. Sure. What a happy accident. Now I read somewhere that the trick to saving your colored pencils when you sharpen is short motion. And to turn the sharpener, not the pencil. I heard you can turn the pencil, but you should do it just like a turn at a time. So you really? Can see where it's okay, we'll see how that goes then. Did it already sharpen? Yeah. Wow. Although I goofed it up there. That's all right. Now, I know how when we're doing our coloring books, we love to blend colors. So, I just went from black to red. There went the lead in that pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. <laughs> no. I did. Now, I it out. Here, you can did you? It. Okay. You can now, the, the one I just it. used, it says red wine on it. And I'm wondering why there's no brown. Didn't think you needed it. But who doesn't want brown in their colored pencils? I just don't understand that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sharpen it by turning the pencil. I do like how you can see what's going on down in there on this pencil sharpener. I do like that blue. And I will say that when you push on these hard to get a nice coverage, it leaves a lot of debris. So if you are left-handed, you will probably you have... just pull out? Yeah. Because I dropped it on the floor. I know. That's a really pretty color right here. Look at that. But it's got a lot of fallout, so if you're left-handed, you're going to have to be really careful, or else you're just going to smear that across the page. And you're heavy-handed, too, aren't you? Or are well, you I'm just trying purposely... to be so that it'll color nicely. But no, these, to okay. get a nice... There you go. If you're not heavy-handed, this is what it does. Okay. The heavy-handed is how oh, you get the metallic sheet. No, shape. but I like how it can go from light, dark to light that way now, too. Well, yeah, but it didn't give it a... It didn't give it an even coat. See what I mean? Like, gotcha. You can see the splash of the white underneath through it. And then here was the brown. It was the red. last one. And look how thin that got from sharpening it. I know, right? Try not to break it. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't kid you like that. Okay, now these are blending well to each other. Um, they are not. A real soft lead as you can hear while I'm doing this I know my hands in the way I'm sorry oh that orange is a nice bright orange though and this like once again if I had done it less heavy-handed right this is what I would have done and I just I don't think that shows anything about having the metallic in any form or fashion right it just looks like a poorly done color pencil you, you have, have to get to some of them right so here was the color spread good and this right here was the section i did with it and you're welcome to hold that up so it's not let's see if you can get any sheen going on here it's not as impressive in my opinion but i also don't use any metallic color pencils i just don't think they're interesting and I do use some, so I would rate these metallics fairly well. Um, I have three more to go here. That's fine. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. See, that's why I thought it would be fun to have two people sit and do a review instead of just one. Oh, now I do like overlapping these some, but it's still... And that white's not going to show anything. I would have preferred to have not had this red wine and to have had a true brown. I know they're calling that brown, but to me, that's that's a berry wine. That's not that's not brown. So out of this pack, though, I would say those watercolors. 
are a big win. I'm going to see how well I do real quick. Yeah, yeah. Show us what you got going on there. Um, this is the one I had earlier if you wanted. It's already primed. Okay. And these water tubes are not from them. This is something I already had. Um, but yeah, I like the metallics. I like the watercolor. I primed the brush before I started stroking so that I wouldn't hopefully lose quite as much water on the paper since we've noticed that this paper is a little thin. That's cool, Sarah. They can see it from the camera. Yeah. Yeah. And that water didn't even kill the paper. So if you were really? being careful, you could do wow. quite well on that. Okay. So I would still probably recommend gessoing it just because then you'd have been able to be a lot heavy handeder and get the color a lot more vibrant. Then they but right. this was being careful. So that was this pack again. And um, again, we did not even get into the drawing pencils or the charcoal. So um, those are pretty standard for any company. And these are the company that we used to use anyway. Yes. So. And let me just show you here. They are all with the number on them. And it's in silver. I have no problem reading this. The print is done in and the such a way. Are all the same. They're just charcoal. They're just charcoal pencils straight up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, that'd be great if you're into drawing or yes. still life, sir. Right. Wanted to start being into it. That would be a great beginner. We used to go through charcoal the charcoal ones. Yeah. Specifically the charcoal ones. And I hated getting the charcoal all over the outside of my hands. So I love that there's a barrel around these really for that is. purpose. Yeah. I, when I was in college, I used just straight charcoal. Mm. I know. Things have come oh, a long way since one's then. I broke and then um, on <laughs> these, I wanted to mention that they do have the numbers on them, and it's in silver. Let me tell you, there's a brand out there, and if you watch me on YouTube very much, you know what brand it is. <clears throat> Prismacolor. <clears throat> they print everything in gold. And you can't hardly read it. These I like because I could really read what was there. So there's our review on that. And the pencil sharpener. Um, I put so little water on this, it's already almost dry. Just a flat. That's, that's how little water. That is pretty. On. I'm going to bring it up here so y'all can see. I still think that's pretty. And now they can see the sheen up next to that from the metallics also. Good job. Okay, do you use sharpeners enough to know? Did you like this one? Yeah, it's a nice, good, coarse, clean blade. It's nice it has three sizes. Yeah. It'd probably be convenient if you're used to working with different brands of stuff. Right, right. Yeah, and and some of our ladies over on Coloring Books Keep It Clean do and it's actually... it's got a good pinch on both sides so you can wiggle it out. I'm not going to pull because I don't want to... You don't want that all over my table? I would it. I would drop it. <laughs> but for those that actually use crayons, you can still get your crayons in there. You could get your... Um, your pastels in there. You know what you could get in there? You could get in there the lip crowns or eyeshadow crowns that you actually use on your face. This would be amazing for cosmetics, but ah, <laughs> distraction. There you have it, cosmetics. <laughs> okay, so these again on Amazon, a single sharpener, eight dollars and ten cents. They sent me mine in a two pack, so I know that they're out there in a two pack somewhere. And then this, um, the entire set came in at only $12.45. So there we have it. Um, anything else on any of this, Sarah? Give me just a sec. Okay. She's looking something up. So yeah, when you go to look for these, be sure, like Sarah said, um, be sure and look in the kids art section also i know whenever i was at the bookstore the other day i went to the kids section and they had adult coloring books i was like really but and then there's the watercolor again i love those colors i love their watercolor pencils y'all so okay so that's it for these
We will be back in a few minutes to do another review. Thanks.